have an electric step at the entry door. Now I'll show you inside. Oh, we also have LED lights in the awning all along the coach. All the windows are tinted glass and they are um, a dual layer glass. Right here at the entry door, we have switches for outside lights, step to keep the step out when you're camping, and ceiling lights on the inside, and a battery disconnect right here. That's all at the entry. On the other side of the entry, we have the awning controls and the switch for the awning lights. All of our cabinetry is wood, including the paneling and the faces, as well as the doors. You can see this is a shaker style door. We can also do raised panel doors if you prefer. And there's storage here and here. The big cleaning in here. We can also do shelves here if someone wants shelves in there. And this is the control for the awning for the speakers and the Bluetooth access for the awning. And more storage down below here, and there's a subwoofer there. Above this, we have a TV with a sound bar. Now here's something else that's a little different. So here we are inside the coach. This customer ordered with the bottom cabinets, the darker gray like we've been doing, but the top cabinets in white. Didn't know how that was going to turn out, but it looks nice. A lot of people like this more modern look and we're happy to do what the customer wants within reason. Another thing we did was a lighter floor than we had in the previous models. Gives a little more contrast with the cabinets. I think it looks really nice. We still have the Corian countertops and everything here is the same. But here you can see the white cabinets. This customer chose the two drawer option for the kitchen. We can also do three drawers. So this has the silverware drawer here. It slides back like that. You have storage under it. The top drawer. And then the bottom drawer is about 12 inches tall. So it's a really deep, really deep drawer. Some would prefer to have three drawers and have this drawer not be quite so big. But you would have a silverware drawer on top and then two other drawers that are about nine inches tall each. So we're willing to work with the customer. You kind of build it the way you want. You see the white cabinets follow through all through here and into the bathroom. On both sides here. Now you see something a little different here. This has the big bolsters there on each side because we did an electric bed. So this slide will come out halfway. And we did both beds this way. So you can bring both beds together and have one big bed and then this would just slide over the mattress would slide over and the bolster would go on the edge so you can have one bed do this or both beds do this if you do however choose that option 
then of course this bed on the driver's side will not have the raised um, platform so that you can raise it up and get access to all the storage underneath. Instead, we did doors on the front face so they didn't lose the storage altogether. It's just not as quite as easy to access. But I think it looks really nice with the white cabinets. See how nice we finish everything off inside. Adjustable shelves here. That is an option on either or both of the shirt closets. Here we have, this has the motion sensor. So when I stick my hand in there, the light comes on. This has the CPAP outlet option, which a lot of people get even if they don't use a CPAP because they can plug in their phone overnight. Put the phone on the ledge here and allow it to charge overnight. So there's two 110 hookups there and two USB connections. And then when you close the door, the light will go out. A little bit of a hesitation, but it will go out. All the screen, all the door windows here have screens. So you have a screen there for daytime if you want to keep some of the sun out. And if you want to totally block out for nighttime or privacy, you have the shades. And these are the slow rise shades. So you just pull it and let it go and it'll go up like that on its own. The headboard and the shelf here is an option. If you like it, we can do it. If you don't like it, we can leave it out. Or if you just want the shelf and not the headboard, we can do that as well. Climate control system is here. So this controls your air conditioning and heat pumps. It also controls the furnace. And we have an option for the fantastic remote control vent fans. You can get up to three if you get one air conditioner. You can get up to two if you take two air conditioners and a 50 amp service. This unit has one air conditioner. Our air conditioning is ducted through the ceiling, so it's a lot quieter than having non-ducted air conditioning. You see, we don't have any trim or gimp, they call it, around the cabinets because we have everything fitting nice and tight. So there's no need for that. In the bathroom, we have a 24 inch by 40 inch shower enclosure. All of our hardware, all of our uh, faucets and everything like that are all you know, not, not the cheap stuff. We use high quality residential style for our faucets. Our, excuse me for shaking like this. There. We have a light built into the skylight. And the shower door closes closes like this. Just like so. Nice big sink, faucets. Plenty of room there. Storage down below that as well. Giant sized medicine cabinet here. storage here there's switches here for light at this area 
the water pump switch, and the tank heaters. We have heaters and insulated, we have insulated our holding tanks and we have heaters on those as well. All of our drawers are full extension drawers. Nice and heavy duty. And we have a large wardrobe here. This is our table that goes in front of the sofa. You see that light came on when I opened the doors because it has the motion sensor in it. That's a nice big wardrobe. the front see all the lights in the ceiling more lights than you'll ever use at one time but by having so many you can choose where you want the lights again this is Earl at Hoosier Custom Cruiser Elkhart Indiana give me a call 303-458-5500